All right, I'm pretty positive that fixed it because our uh, our tractor is on its way again with another load all by himself. So I think we just needed to let him have one trailer. Having the two trailers was he was he's getting tangled and uh, he, was, he, uh, he was getting tangled and then it was making him get lost because he just fit, he totally ran a circuit all by himself and then now he's on his way down the back. So we'll just let him keep working. And uh, once I'm done doing this, we need to I need to get all my income in to see what you know we can do financially. Um, we really should buy a third tractor. I'd love to get a larger tractor, maybe one of the you know JCBs or uh, you know a larger, maybe maybe even the, the Lamborghini. But they're so expensive. The problem is we're looking at, you know around two two hundred thousand dollars, and I really need to get a loader. Like a decent loader, not just that little tractor that pulls a bigger shovel. Uh, that can also handle these bales and stuff. So we're going to take a look at some different options here. But I'm going to set this tractor. This is the last row that I got to do. I may run around a little bit trying to clean up the little excess stuff. But uh, I'm going to send this tractor also off uh, to, to uh, deliver. So we're going to. I'll show you how to do that too. So. All right. Catch you in a second. All right. So I'm done. With the hay bales, we're going to dump off the last two here and clean up the baler and put it away. And that's it. So we got a ton of bales. That should be enough for, you know, not for a real long time, but it's enough to feed the cows for a week or two at least, if not more. So we can always do it with the next harvest, but that's, I didn't realize we were getting so many bales. It's just crazy. It's crazy talk. Uh, we still need to do the square bales, too. That's going to have to come at some point in the future, but, uh, I mean, the, yeah, hay bales, because these are straw bales, but that's way more than I thought I would get, that's just, it's <laughs> funny, <laughs> oh, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road again, it's the right side for Americans, but the wrong side for everyone else, well, actually just for the British and the Japanese, all right, guys, uh, I'm going to clean this up, and we will catch up and see what's going on, I'll show you how to do play for a second tractor. Actually, you know, we'll stick here because I'm almost done. See this dirty fast. Of course, that was a lot of work. We did a lot of, a lot of field driving there. And that'll get it dirty pretty quick. Now we're starting to get some it's funny, there's like this little spot where if you hit it right, there you go. It just totally cleans it. Implements are not so easy. There's still a little bit of hay in that one, but that's all right. We'll just leave it in there for the next harvest. Or straw. Sorry, I always get them confused. Hay, straw. Straw, hay. Hay, hay, hay. Let's go ahead and park this bad boy. Let's put it over here. It doesn't have to be anywhere fancy. Besides, we're going to get in the way of the, the uh, Barley Express here coming up the hill. So, oops. Rut row. to get this guy started pulling wheat down. In fact, let's take a look at our PDA. Uh, alternate 4, 5, 3. Yeah, about 55,000. Actually, we could do the canola. That way they'll both be done at the same time. Um, so we'll have this guy. We'll open up his course play. And we will select this course. So we've loaded the course, and we're going to set him to grab the, I said what I say, canola. And you can see the other guy, number one, is away. And the this guy's settings are, ah, I'm, this trailer, I'm not going to go turn like this. I'm going to have to go out in the field. You can see, and this will be good, because I want time for that guy to get go ahead and get going so that we're not interfering with each other while he's 
I don't want these tractors colliding into each other. So we're going to the settings here, and we're going to turn the start and end off. And then we want to show none. And we want the beacons and the hazards on the street. All right. And then we're going to pull them around. Pick our course. And we're gonna, I don't want to start the nearest waypoint. I want to start at the start, first waypoint. And we're going to say drive course. Let's see what the guy does, if he can figure it out. Nope, he's too stupid. So we're going to stop the driver. We can pull out, come around this way. <laughs> they don't, can't figure out how to get around buildings. So. so let's see what happens. He should pull in here, theoretically, and fill up. There he goes. He's on his own now. I'm not doing him. He's controlling it. So close this. So the lesson that we've learned, and there he shows us our loading at the bottom there, shows us how much loading is going on. The lesson that we've learned is that one trailer per tractor seems to work best. And in this little narrow area, unfortunately, you're going to have to use these little trailers. So it's going to take you a while to drive these down. But since they're just doing it for you, you don't really have to worry about it. So they'll both follow the same path. And that's kind of cool. So I don't have to worry about them now. So let's go ahead, while those guys are working, um, we're going to take a look and see what our current options are. Um, I would say our highest priority right now is to get silage started. Uh, and to do that, the best option, the cheapest option, of course, is this crappy Russian Don 680 from like 1972. Oh, but uh, I think that that's probably the route that we're going to have to go because it's, you know, that's the only thing I can really afford on the budget that I have. The next step up is a hundred is the newer Don from the eighties and and that one costs a hundred thousand dollars. So uh, and unfortunately the pickup for this one is absolutely crap, but it, it's what we got. So this is the corn header, this is the straw pickup, and this is the grass cutter. And so we're gonna get the the unit and we're gonna grab this and we're gonna grab this. And now we're also going to have to get, well, we're going to need a way to haul our loads. So hmm, I think what we'll do is we'll probably wait till those tractors are done doing their thing. But in the meantime, the other thing that we can get, we need to collect those bales. So I'm going to need a telehandler with the bale spike. Is that the best way to go? I mean, we could... The problem I think we're going to run into with this guy, I mean, he has a bale spike, but he's a, he's a little short guy. So we're going to have a hard time getting the bales up on top of the trailer if there's more than one. We're not going to have a hard time stacking them. But he's a lot cheaper. <laughs> I think the, the wise thing to do is to get the telehandler because the telehandler actually... Um, gives us some other options too, like a big bucket for the silage plant and stuff like that. So we're going to grab a bale spike. We're going to grab this guy. Um, now, one of the things that I've noticed, there's a, a mod out there, and this is a real device. Um, where's the bailing technology? Bailing, 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 bailing. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Where is it? Loading wagons? Nope. Oh. It's a different place. We have this Arkusen. Now the problem is it requires a tractor. <laughs> but it stacks them four high. And then you put them on your trailer. And that makes it a little bit easier to collect them. You can use this nice trailer. We don't have the money for it. I think what we're going to do is we're going to buy this and this. Uh, once again, we probably are going to have to wait till they're done... The tractors are done delivering all the loads because, well, you need a tractor to operate this. So we'll grab this. Maybe we'll buy a third tractor, though, too. We'll see what happens. We have almost no money now. Uh, one of these little, little tractors would be fine. Uh, let's see what we got. I mean, we could splurge and get this, but I don't really want the Kirovitz. It's not going to be prototypical to what we would be running on our farm. Not that the Don 680 is either, but that's what we got. So... Go back to the regular tractors and see. The cheapest one we have is the Herdelimen. Herdelimen. Um, 
at 37,000. So we're a little short of that. We're going to have to wait a little bit. Hi, Evelyn. All right, so we'll be back. Let's go ahead and let this guy do his thing. Well, actually, we'll cop down there. You know what? I keep changing my mind. Um, these guys are, this guy's just, wow, I can't believe that's as far as he's got. Oh, you know why? Because when you're in the menu, it pauses. So look at all this equipment we got, though, which is not bad for $100,000. We got quite a bit of equipment. I don't think, well, maybe, you know, maybe this guy can pull that, that Arkusen. And if that's the case, then he can actually do the, the bail pickups. We'll see. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, let's see if I can drive. And, of course, this has that wonky camera. <laughs> that trailer hitch around there and see if we can actually use this guy as a tractor to hitch some of this stuff. What's up, Evelyn? Yeah, she loves Tyler. Nope, that ain't going to work. Uh, so we're going to grab this here. Now, this looks like this could probably pick up two bales at once, but uh, I'm going to I'm going to push these around, too, because they're kind of in the way. So, all right, push that there. There's our driver right there. Beep, beep. Hi, friend. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. Sliding in. I have to move this out of the way. If I can get that. Uh... Hey. Ta-da. Whoop. That's as far back as it rolls. Look at that balance. Look at that talent right there. I probably could use my header trailer to move it, but if we could get this to uh, go on the, the back of our, uh, this guy here. I wish this, I, now I wish they had a Marshall. They probably do. I'm going to have to find a mod that allows you to lock stuff on these, because that would be very helpful, too, to be able to lock this crap down. There we go. There's one item. So we can get this guy on there, too. Boy, that'd be nice. Whoops, nice driving. Nice ability. Nope. Got to find a way to get underneath this thing. Not quite. <laughs> I wonder if the forks would get under there. Be interesting to see. I mean, we could get it up the road, but <laughs> it would be funny to see if we could get it. I don't want to buy the forks because they're, well, I guess they're not too expensive, but I'm just cheap. Yeah, that's not going to work. So, hey, you know what? Let's do it. We're going to buy some forking forks. We're going to poke some stuff with a fork. Uh, I think the teller hand, yeah, it does right there. Lizard. Lizard gizzard. All right, so we're going to put the, uh, the bale spike. On the trailer. I don't think this is going to work, but whatever. They look about the same length, don't they? I thought they'd be long. They look like, you know, on the thing they look longer, but... Okay, what's going on with the uh, red tractor over there? Is he stuck? Oh, no. He's just on Okay. So he's on his way back. Sorry, I just wanted to double-check and see what that dude was doing. See, so it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe from the front. It keeps wanting to flip that way, so I'm thinking maybe if I go around this way. Money, 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 money. I think we're pretty much not going to have much money left over after this. I will probably get another maybe 50000 and we'll get up to 100000 maybe. Once the crop is done, that's not going to leave us enough to buy another tractor. So, Though right now I could buy one of the small ones. Maybe we'll do that. We'll see. But we have almost everything that we need right now to operate on the way that I want to operate. So the only thing that we're still missing is going to be just the bucket for this thing. The, nope. So the that guy's going to have to pull that back. And that's fine. That's not a reason. So let's go ahead and take this up to the main farm. Oh, I can't grab this one either, huh? Oh, well. So I think we're really going to have to 
get a third tractor. So let's go ahead and do that. I, I just need a little tractor. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just something that can pull a trailer. No, wait, I wasn't ready. Oh, I didn't save. <laughs> oh, well, there's more money coming. I didn't. I wanted the little tractor. But you know what? I I probably should have the aggro star anyway because you should have. I, I need it. Let's my talk here. Uh, this guy is going to have the heft to pull that hay, tra hay bale trailer when it's full. So let's go ahead and you know, we'll start. I'm going to start shuttling this stuff up to the farm. I actually probably will use the reset tool to reset it all up there, but we'll uh, actually we'll hold this up by hand because I've got all the stuff loaded on it. All right, guys, so now we have our aggro star, which is really not the optimal tractor, but oh, come on, let me out. But uh, it's, you know what, it's it's a decent tractor. For for putzing around the farm and doing, you know, trailer pulling, this can pull out that green trailer too, so I can actually swap him out for a different tractor, though I don't need to, but, you know, he can, he can swap with that uh, case tractor and pull one of those trailers too, so it's it's good to have a third tractor on the farm just to be able to set, send workers back and forth and all that good stuff. So, anyway, eventually, though, I do want to get a big tractor, but like I said, it's just not in the budget at this time. So, all right, see you in a minute. Here's one of my workers. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so course play, yeah. It's a little hokey, but it's working, and I'm happy with it. Uh, we're going to dump this. Uh, let's see, we're going to park this one on that, on that. Obviously, this trailer is primarily for the hay bales. Let's make sure I go real slow when I have the hay bales on I'm afraid they're going to dump off. And then we have tractor number two coming out. Looks like he's pretty quickly catching up to the other one. So we'll park this here. And... Doop. And now I'll bring this guy up to the farm. I so wish I could hitch this, because that, that'd be it for the trips, man. I it can't. It's got to have... It probably has to have a power takeoff. Oh, well. So we're going to run this guy up. in here coughing. Probably going to get me sick for my wedding on Saturday. I love that. I can't believe I spent all my money on that Agristar. <laughs> I was looking at it. I'm like, well, maybe. But you know what? Once again, I'm not I'm not regretting that I bought it because having that extra horsepower is I think it's necessary. There goes our buddy. Ha <laughs> ha. And for this map, as you've seen, I've had to turn my mirrors off and stuff, which I kind of missed. But. All right, catch in a little bit. Once again, the balancing act begins. I've lifted this off in amazing skill fashion. <laughs> so proud of myself. No! <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm going to bring that other guy up here anyway to, to get that. So we're going to park him right here for now. And I still have a bunch of stuff I have to get from the shop. So we're going to bring it. Let's see. And we're, we're slowly build, or quickly building up money. So you know what? I think we'll probably have enough money. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna buy a second set of trailers, and you'll see why. This guy can fill up two trailers. Oh, now look, he can trailer this. How weird is that? Oh, that's good. So we just have one more trip. I don't know why the other one couldn't. But uh, the cool thing is, this guy can. This guy. Um, we'll get a second set of trailers, and then we can. We can. Uh, set up a loop as we're collecting silage it's a lot faster if we can just have somebody go down you'll see we'll, we'll, I'll show you how that just like I promised you you'd see this stuff you'll see that stuff too so we'll get all this crap working alright so we're going to bring this up I'm so glad you can trailer that that's good so the attachment that's on the front of our Don right now Okay, so he's emptied, the, that guy's emptied out that silo. And so we're going to start him on wheat. Uh, the Don 680 is a forage harvester. Okay, so we talked a little bit about this, but, and I have a lot of stuff on my channel if you want to check it out. Uh, there's other videos about harvesting forage. It's under the tutorials playlist um, on why we do silage and what to do silage. And there's actually a review up there 
on these two Don 680 models. And I did make a mistake. These actually do get dirty. It takes them a really long time, but they actually will get dirty eventually. Uh, but they are, whoa, one of the issues that they have is that they're very slippery, as you can see there. Um, but uh, these are the cheapest forest harvester carbon. <laughs> Forage harvesters that you have. Uh, they have three different attachments. One is for cutting corn. One is for mowing grass, and it can also cut down wheat and barley. Now, you can get track, you stuff behind you, so I'm going to settle that. Um, and then the third attachment is the one that I just had on that trailer. That's for collecting and straw off fields. Frame that's dropping down. Uh, we are going to uh, run this header over to the, our grass fields because we're going to use this to mow the grass. And this is one of our fields on the left here. So we're just to find the gate to get in. And actually, you know, we can even just set it here on this little side link. Stop, two, two. So we're gonna stop here for a second, and we're gonna drop this off. And now the question is, how do we? Okay, we can just turn this. Weird, the track is not showing that trailer being attached. But... So I'm hoping that the four stacker, that I'll very carefully be able to lift four bales without dumping them over using the telehandler. We'll see if I'm that skilled. I may not be. So now this guy is going to go to the field where our hay bales are, and then he's going to go across the lake. We're going to actually go with him, but he's he will not get used until after we're done doing the hay. Right? Or should I do him first? Let me think about this. Now you know what? We will do him. We'll do him last. We'll get the we'll get the hay all sorted out because. Yeah, we need to wait anyway, because I need the money to get over to get some more trailers before we start using them. So we'll start doing the hay. And then when those two tractors are done delivering all the rest of our product, we will buy the extra trailers that we need and we'll start doing our foraging. So he's going to drop this off. And he's going to pick this guy up. See here, here's one of the bugs with this thing. See how low that sets? There's no way to raise or lower it. And that makes it really difficult to maneuver this thing if there's any hills. So that's kind of a pain. But now we know we can pick it up with that. Uh, <laughs> it's hitting stuff. It's going to make it hard to, uh, to turn even. Look at that. So this guy is going to be parked right over here. <laughs> Bugs. That's why they, you want the more expensive one of these, because it doesn't have that issue. I should have made this a little bit higher up. I don't know. I'll see if there's one outline that's a little bit lower. I don't think so. I don't think it is more than So let's check out our tractors. Uh, this guy is empty. So we are going to stop the driver. And we're going to change the load to wheat. A lot of loads to pick from. Total expansion, wood chips, manure. Oh my gosh. I felt like wheat. All right, drive course. Nope. Ah, oh, moron. Okay, he's got to come all the way out. And that means the case is right behind him. The case is probably going to run into the exact same thing. I don't think there's much canola left. There might be a little bit enough. Oh, this guy's already got crap in his truck. What the heck? So we need to go to this guy. All right, so he's the reason why he's hesitating is because he's empty, and they want to wait till they're full. The, the robot wants to wait till it's full. Well, it doesn't do us a lot of good, so we're gonna have to. God dang! It. All right, so we're gonna drive course. He's probably gonna get stuck. I hate the fact that he can't see what they're doing. Oh, nope. nope. He was smart. He's gonna go ahead and go. So there we go. So we're both off. Covering up the product. The other guy, for whatever reason, decided not to cover the product. <laughs> Maybe you don't cover canola. I don't know. 
it's just, it's on automatic, and the other guy does it automatically. So these guys are both going to have to get switched to weed on the next pass. Okay, <laughs> that was not confusing at all. This, all right. So we're going to pull the our four stacker around and get a bunch of four stacks. And hopefully, we'll get the trailer. So this thing I have not operated before, aside from just kind of screwing around with it, trying to figure out how to make it work. Uh, it's got its own weird controls. We need to get it into work mode. It's not super efficient. I wish it would just kind of do it automatically, but it doesn't. You've got to kind of turn the tractor this way and kind of bump this in. You get it? Eventually. Yeah, you see, so this doesn't work so good, but it's an interesting product, and it really is a real... They do make these, so there we go. Now it's got it. And we're going to lift it up. Oops, no, we're not. We have to attach it. It doesn't automatically attach. <laughs> attach. Whoop. There we go. And now we go grab a second one. So you can see here, it, it does okay. It's not it's not a great mod. I wish it would do all this stuff automatically. I think probably though they're kind of going for a little more realism. So we're going to release the bale. We're going to lower the lift. We're going to grab the bale, and we're going to raise the lift. Here, we got too high. So let's grab the bale. So this is fun. If you like bale handling, as opposed to just buying the $50,000 one that does it automatically, this is the four stack is a little bit more realistic. So we're going to release and lower, and then we're going to grab and raise. There we go. There's three. that one into the Come on. Of course, the last one's got to be there. There we go. And so we're going to release. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> lordy. <laughs> no mercy. Okay, there we go. And we're going to grab it, and we're going to raise it. There we go. And so we got our bales all together. Here. And I'm sure this process hopefully will get easier as I learn how to do it. Set this down. So we're going to release the bales by pressing, well, let's see, the place where I want them. We'll, set them. we'll start loading the trailer from the back. So we're going to release the bales. Nope, we're going to lower the bales. Lower and release. Okay. And then we're going to, uh, oh, that probably was bad. So we're going to, hang on, B, for whatever reason. I'm thinking about how some of these, when, you, when you're not going straight, how it screws up. But I think that's probably going to happen with these two. So let's make it right. This thing needs a little more traction. Anyway, I like it. It's, it's a cool idea. I think that this is how probably they really do it in the fields, you know, maybe. <laughs> Lower it, release it. And now we're going to open the stopper. And that opens up the back of the, the unit. As you can see here, if I press V, see that it opens that up. And then we can go forward. And we have a four stack. They're all set. So let's go ahead and grab our telehandler and see how this works. And so we can take this carefully. I wish you could, you know, and I, I think they make other ones. I'm going to see if I can go online and find a larger poker that has like it's taller so that we can actually pick up several bales at once because this is this is a great way to tip all the stuff over <laughs> all right so we're going to keep that there we're going to slide that in and very carefully lift <gasps> oh yeah now so it's real sensitive and that's that's going to be the issue, that right, right there, what we just had happen. So maybe if we just do two at a time, I, I don't know. If I get good at it, maybe I won't have that kind of issue, but I, I didn't I didn't have it. Um, it's also heavy for this, so it's kind of making it go. Hang on. No, that's not what I want. I want to extend it. Ah, wrong button. That would be why. 
So if we extend that out and put that down, let's see where are we on the trailer. It's kind of hard to tell. It looks right. That looks right. And we'll set that down and back up. So we're going to have to restack these, and I guess I'll just do these one at a time since I'm already here doing this. But, but uh, yeah, that gives you an idea of what the idea is. However, I've seen on the video they showed when they were using that uh, Arkusen in real life, they had uh, a much larger bail spike that was, like, tall, so you could pick four up without them dumping over. So I, I haven't really found one of those online. I saw one once, and then I, I, can't, I went on last night to find it couldn't find it so I'm gonna look again and see what I can find but if I look up maybe if I look up bail spike or something I'll get the trailer's gonna wig out that's great that's gonna be helpful try to get these all on there without screwing up both of our tractors are back Such a finicky job. Ugh. Yeah, I know the silo's empty. All right, so there's that. Pull straight back, and we'll load one more on there. <laughs> T660 is slipping. He's stuck because the silo's empty, so he's not knowing what to do. We'll get him in a sec. All right, so we'll hop up there real quick. And All right. Do you see the other tractor here? Huh? Huh? See that tractor? Yeah. You can't go forward. There's another tractor there. <laughs> oh my gosh, these drivers. Okay, so. Oh, that was weird. You see him move up. So we're going to put this guy over here. Boop. He's going to wait. And that's the thing you got to be careful when you got two drivers following each other. You, you really have to gap them by a minute or two because otherwise they'll start. And I think I'm actually going to do the red one first because the red one actually caught up to the blue one. So. Our case tractor actually caught up to our new Holland, and so I'm going to do the case, let the case tractor run first. And we should, we do have enough money now to do two trailers, so that's good. All right. All right so we're going to say, whoop, go here. And now we're going to switch from canola, since the canola is empty. We're going to, I think it is, let's go double check the PDA, right? So alternate four. Yep, all we got left is corn. Oh, we have corn. Weird. Chips. Oh. So, but the wheat is what we're after. Um, we're going to ch change him over to wheat. Whoops. <laughs> Flew right past it. Wheat. Let's see if you can do it. All right, we'll let him do his thing. And meanwhile, we'll go back here. Once he's off and on his own, we'll uh, switch over to the other guy. Now, the nice thing about the Occusin is that you can put it however many stacks you, high you want. So if you just want to do three at a time, you could do that and, and get away from what I had where I dumped it over. As soon as you move forward, it's going to want to tip. And I don't have my arm out all the way, but see if we're lined up. Eh, it's a little finicky. It'd be great if you could lock these down like in real life. Though in the videos I've seen where they're, they're delivering these, they don't really lock them down. They just have them kind of out there. So that's not realistic. Uh, pop that out a little bit. Oh, bad. Okay. Try this again. I'm really good at this, as you guys know from watching my videos. I'm always like so skilled. At it. I was watching guys yesterday. I went out to photograph a house that was just finished construction, and they were still working on the lawn. They had all these big tractors out there working, backhoe and excavators. It was really cool. All right, so. <laughs> So now we're going to hop into our new Holland and get him started on his course. And actually, nah, 
I think you have to start it. And this his, so his load is now set to wheat. So that's good. And we're gonna get him pulled in here so he's ready to go. We say drive course. Theoretically, he should pull in and stop. Yep, there we go. So he's off. So we can trust him. <laughs> Hopefully. And meanwhile, we'll get this guy back up and going. There's that. Attach and raise. It seems like the way to get these is to you kind of turn into them. Like so. Hold on straight now. There we go. And then we're going to lower and release. And attach and raise. Such exciting. Kids are chasing a deer in the backyard with a sword. <laughs> He'll never catch it. My my 18 year old is so excited. He spent four hundred dollars, and it is cool to me. It's like a total waste of money, but you know everybody's got their thing. He spent four hundred dollars on this handmade sword uh, from I, I don't even know the name of the company, but it's a really really nice piece. I mean the guy did an amazing job. Uh, it's a real high quality you know, uh, weapon, but it's just funny because it's like to me, I have no interest in that stuff whatsoever. And somehow he just loves it, so he got it today, and so now he's chasing deer in our backyard. Uh, I suppose if you were really good, let's see, we're going to release the bales, lower it, we're going to pick it up, and raise it. And off we go. We can open up that back section. So we can let go, and we're done. So we're going to put this here. Let's see if we can do it. I'm, I'm still not convinced that I can do this this uh, lifter. I think I'm going to have to have the. Uh, oh, we can do that. I think I'm going to have to have a larger uh, bale spike to get that up. But we'll see. Here's the test, right? I, I have it extended now, so I should have enough. I may want it to have it shorter. The other thing that drives me crazy about the this one is that because of that split body, it makes it a little harder to get the spike exactly where you want it. All right, that looks good. All right. Tip it back just a hair. Don't want it too much. I'm just going to lift real slow. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's right. I forgot that. You know what? These are analog joysticks, too. That, that helps. So let's take a look here. Good, good, good. So far, so good. And I'm going to scooch up just real slow, ever so, whoops, what's going on here? Okay. They're moving on their own. I'm not doing anything. All right, they're bumped in. And I'm going to slowly lower them. And back. Let's push it in again because they're sliding off the trailer. I'm going to try to pull out. No, I'm knocking them over. <gasps> it looks like we got it. It's They're still, I don't want them loose like that, though. They're kind of hanging over the edge. Okay, 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 good. Oh. And they're not falling. Good. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we can do it. That's cool. So I don't have to buy any other implements or anything. Yes, Evelyn. Are you okay? Do I need to call an ambulance? <laughs> You're a tough girl. I'll have a talk with John. All right, guys, so we're going to take a little break here, and um, I'll be back. We'll continue uh, day one here. But uh, it's going to take us a little while to collect all these bales, so uh, that'll give me something to do tonight. And right, we'll be back. <laughs>